shout out to the guy that bought all these pretzel bits and yeah. forgot to claim them. Oh my god, dude. I actually got to eat dinner today. <laughs> mm. No, I just like, I, I freaking carbo loaded. I had popcorn and now pretzel bites. That's my dinner. Oh my god. <laughs> Ugh. Right. Well, grand finals about to start. K7 versus Goma. A run back from winner's finals. And then in, in that one, Goma was able to hold that momentum pretty hard uh, during their set. Sets. Let's see if K7 is able to adapt to that, get a new game plan, be able to come back. Yeah, I'm intrigued to see. Because, uh, as time went on in that first set, like, k have won game one. Mm -hmm. Then Goma kind of like won game two. But then Goma just bodied. Yeah, just that last game, game was, three just, was just destruction. All right. Going back to Smashville, uh, as we were seeing last time, I think honestly k does like this stage a lot just because from what I see, he's able to just carpet mine this entire bottom part part of the stage just to force you onto that platform. This is a pretty good snake stage because of it being so, uh, like you're saying, so small. Um, he's able to just have multi-layered traps going on at all times. He can always have a grenade on the ground. He always has a C4 on the top, like on this middle platform. Yep. At all times. And when you're playing against Omar, you're really wa you're basically just having this battle for center stage at all times. Mm -hmm. And for Snake, he always wants to be king of the center hill. Yeah. C4 did not make it on to the top platform. All right. Ooh, did that Pikmin actually shove him off of that, or was that an air dodge? He air dodged. Okay. It just, it just like, hit him at the exact same time as the Pikmin. It's like, what? Yeah, no, it looked very funny. <laughs> oh, man, Goma trying to go for the uh, up B induced up airs. Oh, hit that, that kill. That was Skittle Shield. <laughs> that was such a risky up B. Like, I don't know why. Like, I think Goma went up there because he's like, you know what? This is going to be high risk, high reward, and I'll just roll with it. Yeah. I think I can do this. And right. he tried, it did not work. Again, what I like is Snake is just staying below this platform, just trying to keep that stage control. Doing a good job of keeping Golomar on this ledge. <coughs> oh Skittle my Shield! God, Skittles, we are just, just I all did not over. Know. I did not know we were listening to early 2000s <laughs> anime music videos. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, with all these skill shields, I think we've only seen one actual shield break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was at Runes vs. Malone. Yeah, right? and that wasn't even a stock. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Come with guys, Pikmin back. Yeah, he was getting weighed down by that purple, though. Monique, a little heavy. Yeah, <laughs> extra thick. Right, that blue is in possession. And I believe that blue one is almost flowered. Oh, that blue's dead already. Oh, the blue's dead. Oh, yeah. never mind. <laughs> down air. Oh! Beautiful down air. Wow, what a good spike. Man, he is, he's getting these down airs a lot today. You can tell, like, this is starting to, like, spiral slightly out of control for Ksev here. Yeah. Because, like, the you're not seeing the intricate levels of traps that he had from stock number one. This is the problem when you're fighting Olimar and he has a stock ahead. Just because of the amount of percent that Olimar is able to rack up so quick is that he's able to increase that deficit, you know, by so much in such a little amount of time. Yeah. That it's really hard to fight around that. Trying to fish out these up tilts. They're not quite landing right now. Oh, uh, and another down dare. Air. Goma with the dunk. You know, their previous set, Goma was hitting him off the top. This time, it's just all saving them all for the bottom. All right. Well, hmm. If I were Kasev, I don't know exactly where I would go at the this point, just because Olimar benefits from a lot of the same kind of stages as Snake. Yeah, 
Yeah, that is one of the more difficult things to do in this matchup specifically is that they re both characters do benefit from pretty mutually similar stages. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to run back, back to Smashville. And this could potentially be the last game of the tournament yeah. here. Go McKenzie on like on like the clock right now to win his first I actually think this would this could be Goma's actual first smash field in general too yeah let me actually go pull that up because I actually don't know if Goma won a single ultimate or smash four smash field so this could theoretically be both players winning oh no Kesa definitely has won a past smash field during smash four yeah um but this could would be very his, well this would be, be his Goma's first, first smash field yeah, this would, both players were guaranteed a new Ultimate winner for the first time because mm -hmm. the only players who have ever won Ultimate Smash Fields are Zeno, Daybreak, Ryuga, and Smasher. Yep. But let's go check Smash 4. Let me type that Goma. Goma Kempi has not won a, set, a Smash Field ever. So this is possibly Goma Kempi's first ever Smash Field victory. And you know he would love to get it, and he's starting it off with a purple up smash. And he has been on a train of wreckage the past few few weeks. He has been like he was at Crimson Clash a few few weeks ago. Easy, easy, like you know, first place there as yeah, well. Yeah, and I mean, at the time, everybody thought the only person who could beat him there would have been Boo Bear, but Boo Bear had a drop. Next best up in terms of competition was, in fact, Adorable Knight, and Adorable Knight just kind of got he had a three would twice. Yeah. Though he did have a, t a, you know, Smash Reddit clip tr trending on there, so, you know, he has that. Oh, did he really? Uh, it, it was, like, a shield break. He multiple down, down tilted him twice into an up B, and, like, that killed off state. Oh, I did see that on Reddit, actually. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. That, fo that purple force. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That, killed. that was a great <laughs> grenade there. I was thinking that was a C4 right there. This is not looking good for KSF. KSF might have been able to even up the stock in terms of just being both of them at two. But right now, this is just not looking good for the mercenary. Again, man, just Olimar's damage output cannot be overstated enough. It is so devastating when a player like Goma gets a lead. He's going to easily take the most advantage of that that he can. Oh, my God, that up to Wow. Two. That was like the clip heel of that. Shades of Brawl for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got Perry's on Monique. All right. Boom, boom. KSF starting to get his momentum back. Wow. Okay, just carpet mining this right side of the stage. And uh, up throw's going to seal the deal. But at what cost? 72%. This definitely is a game. This is Kasev's game to lose and Kasev's set to lose, technically. Yeah. So this is, all, like, all the marbles now exist for Kasev. Mm -hmm. Can he do it? Can he take this game back in control? All right. Right now he's doing a good jo job currently of just trying to carpet mine it. But right now I, I, see, I see his lineup. He's got two purples. Nikita does it. We're going to a game three. Ooh, Kasev barely squeaks by there. Yeah, you could you could tell him just like that that took a lot out of him. Yeah, that, that I mean honestly, when you with how that match started, that was not looking pretty for Kesa. Yeah, that was looking like a two zero. Let's go. Yeah, now now's the hard part. Now he has to win on Goma's counter pick. Yeah, at this point, PS two likely going to be one of the bands. I highly doubt we'll see that. With how uh, integral that stage was for the dominating performance coming out of Goma in set one. You know Pokemon Stadium 2 is 100% off the table. Uh, and we're going to be going to Kalos. For for a side note, uh, do you know how Lila is for these characters? I think Lila is what, possibly one of the bands. I think Olimar does pretty good on Lila Cruz. Like, it was one of his good stages in Brawl. It was uh, one of his stronger stages in Smash 4. And I'd imagine it has followed suit here with this game as well. All right. Uh, heading to this f potentially final game here on Kalos. Let's see. Are we ending things now? Or are we heading into another loser's bracket? Yeah, we possibly could see a set two here. It's two out of three. But, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, this stage is going to be pretty good for Goma. It's a very big stage. Uh, probably, like, tied for top three biggest stages that are on the current stage list. Yep. But 
the stage platform itself isn't actually that big. It's a 160-unit stage. Yeah. So it's roughly the same size as Battlefield and Final Destination in mm -hmm. terms of length. But because of the huge blast zones and the position of these platforms, this is what makes the stage such a good counterpick for Olimar mm -hmm. and a decent stage itself for Snake. Yeah. Up right. air. Yeah, Snake doesn't have as much room to play around in this middle center of the stage like he did last time, mm -hmm. which Olimar can intercept with ear Pikmin throws, up air, stuff like that. Gomo's just waiting to get one Pikmin back just in case. Yeah, I feel like he's trying to aim for a blue right now. Yeah, blue would definitely help. It would get, get the Yeah, kill. he threw away that, that yellow one, so blue coming in next for the lineup. Definitely. Now, this is a pretty solid, like, lineup for, like, Goma, who's trying to get, like, those quick percents. But he just lost all of them. Now, they got a purple back. They will always right. be a purple. Yeah. All now, right. Not on this next triple pigment bowl. You'll get, what, I think the whole original Yeah, I color. think you always get the original three. It's pretty much evened back up. I'm loving the run-up shields right now from K Sev. Oh, that's a lot of damage right now building up on K Sev. It's like as soon as he, you know, kills one oh. of the pigment. Wow! I I didn't know if that was on Olimar or was that if that was in center stage. I think that might have been center stage on that one. Back around shield. Nice get off me option. Right. Oh, oh going God, for that Goma trying again. to get the cheeky dare again. Up air, going to seal it. He just waited. He's like, all right, this is where a position where Kesev is forced to do a directional air dodge to try and get out of here. Goma, one stock away from winning his first smash field. Gets the grenade. And <laughs> Kesev just now one stock away from bringing this into set two. All right. Both these guys are just trying to get this tournament or this set over with. Kesev would love a redemption shot to take another two sets off of Goma and possibly win this tournament. And Goma, of course, as we've been saying all set long, he wants this so bad. That he has a Skittle, Skittle shield. shield. Both of them just in a projectile war right now. Two purples are on the field right now, just trying to fish for that kill. Snake is at 71, so he can totally make it happen. This is coming down to the wire here. Goma's got to get his Pikmin lineup going. Yeah. When you're, like, sitting at, like, one Pikmin against Snake, it's so scary. Yeah. If the C4 has been placed. Oh, gets that purple. And on this oh, stage, C4 two. does blend into the stage a lot more, so you don't expect it as much. All right. Okay, so this is a really dangerous spot right now. Up air again. One more up air and it's done. Gets that down throw, put him to sleep. Two purples online. Skittle shield. Nikita, ooh, man, just to block it out. Oh, oh. my goodness. Can Kesev take this? Yep, just get over to the other side. Yeah, just retreat. All you can do. Nice forward air. And ooh, get man. Up throw, up throw. is that it? That is that it. That is it. Goma takes Smashfield 180 with a 2-1 victory over Ksev. Congratulations, man.